In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out Heat Transfer Warehouse garden flag. I have never done a garden flag before, so this is gonna be a first for me. So if you wanna see how it turns out and how well it subs, and if I make any mistakes, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do sewing and supplementation videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's just jump into this video and see how well this turns out. To test this out, we're gonna need our garden flag, some heat tape, a lint roller, some butcher paper, and our design. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this because I've never piece together such a big design ever so we'll see how well i can press this we're going to start by lint rolling our flag just to make sure there's no lint on it because your lint will turn blue when you sub so you want to make sure that there is no lint now we're going to put this to the side for a second and i think the easiest way to do this is to have my design facing up like this because this is so big and then I'm gonna take my garden flag. The back part of it looks like this. You have the seam, you can see. In the front, it's seamless. And in the back, you can see the seam. So I'm gonna put it with the front facing down. And it's pretty see-through, so you should be able to see which way. This is a pretty big Flat. just arrange it how you want it and then you're gonna take your heat tape and you're gonna just start taping it down and I'm pretty sure you'll only be able to sub one side on this because it's so see-through if you subbed on the other side I'm sure you would be able to see the design maybe I'm wrong so once that is all taped up I think the easiest thing to do would be to get your butcher paper and put that down then get your taped up flag and put it face down so because my heat press is not going to be big enough to press this all in one press I'm gonna have to do it in multiple presses I'm gonna tape down my design and my fabric to my butcher paper and that's just gonna make it a little bit easier for me as I'm trying to move it around to be able to press. So I wanna make sure that I'm not shifting the fabric or causing any ghosting. So this is the best way for me to ensure that. So you see, I just taped it on the edges to the butcher paper and now it's gonna be much easier for me to move it around. So let's move to our heat press and let's see how this presses. Okay, let's attempt this. I'm so scared. Let's see how this turns out. So big for my little heat press. Okay, we're gonna put one corner over here. I'm so scared. And then we're gonna press down for 60 seconds. I have my heat press set at 385 because my heat press runs hot. So now I'm going to move it. I'm gonna shift it to this side now and let the part that already subbed hang off. And I'm gonna press that as well. Okay, now I'm going to move it, I guess. Oh, oh. Fall in the boat. trying to press everything it's a little hard I have one small section left to press okay last section I'm going to shift it to this side I have just one tiny section left to press okay and you can see through the butcher paper that can you see that? The ink bled through. You can see more on this side. So this goes to the garbage. You don't want to reuse this. I think it's going to turn out good. Hopefully, let's see. Hopefully, I got everything. I think I pressed it all. Okay, that was the last part to press. So now let's 
take this over to our table and see how well we pressed it. Okay, moment of truth. Okay, let's see. We're gonna just start taking a corner, pulling it up. <gasps> Okay, so that was really, really hard to do on my small heat press. So, turned out pretty good overall. I'll be honest, there's two spots that have a little bit of ghosting on it, which kind of sucks. But that's my problem. That's my fault. The flag itself, though, subbed beautifully. Like, look at those colors look at those colors like it's so 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 beautiful and this is how the back looks so you can kind of see the design so i don't think you can sub on the back part because then you'd probably be able to see the back design through the front and you don't want that so for the most part it turned out pretty good if you have a small heat press like i do i have i think mine is 16 by 24 I think or is it 16 by 20 I can't remember you're gonna have to do multiple presses and you're gonna want to be careful how you're turning it so that you don't cause any shifting or ghosting but it is so beautiful and this would make a nice little you know housewarming gift for someone so it really didn't turn out too bad the colors are super vibrant I think they're just so beautiful it was more of a me problem because I had to piece together so many pieces, had to press it in so many presses. I think when I was pressing it, I should have done it where, I don't know, I was just nervous and doing it all over the place. I think I should have pressed it with the shorter side in my heat press and then going this way. But instead, I don't know, I think I was trying to press it this way and like, I think if I would have done it this way, like this way it would have been much easier for me and i probably would have not gotten the ghosting that i got or maybe using some adhesive spray to tack on the sublimation paper to it if you guys have any tips for like how to sub bigger things when you have a small heat press Please let me know because I've never really had to do it before. Like, yeah, I've done blankets and stuff, but that's something where you can do like one piece at a time. It's not like a super continuous pattern, if you know what I mean, like design. But for the most part, it turned out really good. The colors, look at these colors. The colors are so beautiful like I just love the garden I just love how it turned out and it's a really good size it's pretty big it's 47 by 68 centimeters so it's a good size so I'll have if you guys want to try out the garden flag I'll have it linked down below again if you have any tips and tricks on how to sub bigger items when you have a small heat press I think mine is 16 by 20. I don't think it's 16 by 24. I think it's 16 by 20. I think. I'll have to check. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learned from my mistakes. And I hope you guys will check this garden flag. I'll have it linked down below. They also have a lot of other really cool sublimation products. I'll be sharing some with them. Some I will be sharing some of them with you very soon. Keep your eye out for those videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And bye.